Hey everyone, this is Parth Patel from P3 Studio and today we're going to start a new series on VMware ESXi. So what you are going to learn in this series? You're going to learn the term virtualization, what are the types of virtualization, what are hypervisors and how do you install ESXi? How do you create virtual machine on your server? How do you install vCenter server and configure high availability and vMotion on your server? And last but not the least, how do you manage your ESXi servers? So let's get started. At the end of this session, you are going to learn what is virtualization and what is the need of virtualization. So what is virtualization? Virtualization is a creation of a virtual version of something that includes your hardware, your storage, your application or your network which means you can virtualize your hardware, your application, your storage, or your network. And the main goal of a virtualization is to centralize administration and provide scalability. Virtualization allows multiple operating systems to run simultaneously on a single computer by distributing hardware to each operating system. Each instance is known as a virtual machine or a guest operating system this each guest operating system is managed by a virtual machine monitor, also known as a hypervisor. Now, as you can see in this diagram, at the bottom there is a hardware onto which your hypervisor is going to be installed and it is going to manage your virtual machines. There are two types of hypervisor and we're going to discuss about, in, about it on, in this series a lot, but as of now you just need to remember there is a hardware and a hypervisor and virtual machines. Okay. Now coming on to the need of a virtualization. So there are three main reasons why do you need virtualization. The first is consolidation, then redundancy and migration. These are the main three reasons that you need virtualizations to be implemented on your organization or your IT infrastructure. So it's a common practice to dedicate each server to a single application. If several applications only use a small amount of processing power, the administrator can combine several machines into one server running multiple virtual environments. For, for organizations that have hundreds or thousands of servers, the need of physical server space can decrease significantly. Just imagine if you have thousands of servers on your premises and you just uh, install one single application server role on your one physical server. So that is going to take a lot of amount of space. Uh, if you virtualize these things, you can save on cost, space, and also on power supply and energy. Now coming on to the redundancy. Server virtualization provides a way for companies to practice redundancy without purchasing additional hardware. Redundancy refers to running the same application on multiple servers. It's a safety measure if a server fails for any reason, another server running the same application takes its place. In most cases, administrators will create redundant virtual servers on different physical machines. Coming on to the migration, an emerging trend in server virtualization is called migration. Migration refers to moving a server environment from one place to another. With the right hardware and software, it's possible to move virtual servers from one physical machine in a network to another. Originally, this was possible only if both physical machines ran on the same hardware operating system and processor, but now it's possible to migrate virtual servers from one physical machine to another even if both machines have different processors, but only if the processor comes from the same manufacturer. We're going to end the session here. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe this channel for more videos and share this video. Thank you for watching.